Hey everyone, today we're going to uh, replace a battery in an iPhone 7, and it's uh, not a uh, 7 Plus. This video is going to be a little different from most videos you'll see because I'm going to do everything that you're supposed to do. Okay, so we have our three bits right here, and uh, those three bits are removed from the set. We're going to go from left to right in order of usage, so we're going to use this uh, Pentalope P2 first. Then we're gonna use this Philips. It's probably, I believe it's a Philips with uh, three zeros after. And then we're gonna use this TriPoint. Okay, so that's the order we're gonna use these. That's it. All right, let's do it. So let's just take our device, power it down. Get our uh, pentalope. That's no, not right. So we'll put these in our tray. What we want to do now is heat up the uh, screen because there's glue along this front side. We're going to do this for eight minutes. So turn on our machine. This is set our mode. We want to put our mode to phone. Well, we're going to have to set this uh, heat and temperature to 80 degrees Celsius. So we turn the power on, go to mode. You notice that there's two icons over on the left side. One's her tablet and one's her phone. I want to use the phone one. Hit mode again, right? Timer is already set to eight minutes, but you just go up and down like that to choose. Hit mode again, and now we're set. So we're gonna heat this up for eight minutes at 80 degrees Celsius, and that should uh, the phone, by the way, is uh, face down, so back side is up, camera side's up. This is an iPhone 7, just to let you know. And uh, we'll let this do its job for another eight minutes. All right, so this shuts itself off automatically, and uh, it's, it's pretty hot. <laughs> I've been about one minute. This is pretty hot. And uh, we're going to place our suction cup near the home button. Okay. And uh, we're going to start to try to pry, separate the screen. Gloves. This thing is hot. 
but this is the safest way to heat your device. Okay, so we look like we broke all the glue. Really, really sh being shallow at the top here. Okay. So I should be able to kind of just peel this off now, I think. It's going to open up to the right. There's some clips up top here, so we gotta kind of like pull towards me. Like this way, I mean, oops, oh no. Pretty sure we cracked all the... Go all the way around. Yeah, just glue everywhere. So we have our device open. I'm gonna put a little something back here just to uh, help not put a lot of pressure on the cables. All right, here's our Philips uh, P00. Zero. That's a Philips with uh, three zeros behind it. A bracket here. This bracket holds the uh, Taptic engine in place. Those over here, we have two of them. The tweezers is like so important. Gonna lift up underneath it like that. Grab our um, what is this? Try point. It's a Y three. Y zero zero zero. That's what it means gonna be. Now th these are apparently all different sizes, so you want to pay attention to them. So that came up pretty easily. There should be a bracket up here, it looks like, yeah. That happens to be Phillips, this bracket. The same pH with, uh, I have four zeros following this pH.
That's where I'm going to lose these things. Here that's removable. There you go. Okay. Now there's another one down here. I'm going to lift that one off too. So. Our screens are separated. Now, let's see how this can be a bit of a, a bit of a challenge if we can't get this off correctly. Now this glue, this white strip here is glue that runs underneath the battery. I didn't even lift that off properly, did I? Yeah, you saw it. Uh, looks like the purple side wants to lift off. Whatever. Nope, that's not good. <laughs> Can we work with that? Fords. We're still doing this. <laughs> That's what's happening. We're still doing. Here we go. I'm gonna get some isopropyl. Ninety-nine percent.
We have a working battery. Well, it looks like we did it. Hope you enjoyed that little adventure with me. Um, that was awesome. Very different, new stuff for me, branching out. I need to get into uh, preparing, uh, you know, <laughs> board level repair, basically. That's the future. I mean, everything is just this small, so. I don't know, this is me trying to branch out. Um, all the tools I have, I'll definitely Link them in the description below. Hope that you enjoyed this. I just wanted to do a different video. It was more thorough than other videos. This, uh, they usually just don't show you how to put the proper glues back on. I made some mistakes. I rebounded a little bit. What I would do differently, I would have uh, two strips, two two different two strips of um, adhesive for the battery. You know. Because you never know when you're doing this for the first time you make mistakes so that way you can have something you can rebound with a little bit more uh, grace all right so hope you liked it thanks for watching thanks for hanging out thumbs up if you uh, thought i did a good job and i uh, hope that uh, i get to see you again on the next video all right so don't forget to subscribe you're the best i'll see you soon